Hello friends, welcome to your favorite channel IVMSA. So this is your number one place to learn for, to grow from being a beginner to becoming a pro web developer. So today we are continuing with one of our projects that we are doing. We are building a website similar to CNA. This is the website that we want. So this is the outlook that I want. So I can see that on the progress that we've made, this is where we are. The, you can see. So now I'm going to, I've, I've done this section for closer look. Now I'm going to check. I need the section for... The next section is sports and the, the, the section that we are going to be doing. So now I need to come to my Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay. So now, but I'm just going to make things a bit sim simple for me. I'm going to uh, to erase this task. Because I've discovered that, that to save time and to simplify my work, I'm going to need to remove this text. And let's just do a delete. So... We're going to be adding a new section here. We're going to call this section featured sections. Then now we're going to add, add, add a div inside with class name featured sections top. Then I'm going to add a div with class name news bars. News and bars. Then I'm going to add h1 text for sports. Then I'm going to have an image and a paragraph with simple text. Then let's have a div with news bars, more detailed headlines. And let's have a div sub div inside with class name news bars, headlines topic one. Then I'm going to add a paragraph with with the, this text. Then I'm going to add a horizontal row with styling with 100% text align left, left margin, left, left zero. Then I'm going to add another sub div with news bars, more headlines, dash topic two. Then I'm going to add a paragraph tag inside with an horizontal row. Now, if I go below, I'm going to create another div then let's have with class name news bars more headlines topic three then let's add she's a lawyer mom and one of the greatest trilets of all time so if i come back into my browser let's come and check a look on our live server the progress that we have made okay below there you can see so this is the progress that we have made now so now let's come back inside our browser and we add another horizontal rule with with 100% text align left and margin left then let's add a div outside with class name use bars topic 4 so this is for topic 4 then let's save paragraph text like we just done in the horizontal rule then let's have another div for more headlines topic 4 let this is a copy with text with paragraph and horizontal rules so if i come back inside my browser they can see i've added some text there now let's come inside and let's have a div with class name use bars then categories heading then image major then dot they give it a class name for the image dash news dash and dash bars dash image then let's have a paragraph tag with class name news dash bar and dash bar as paragraph then let's have a div with class name news bars more headlines okay then i'm going to add a paragraph tag then i'm also going to add another div with class name news bars more headlines topic one then i'm going to add a paragraph with floating text with tag then i'm going to add a horizontal row so you can see that i'm just doing the, the same thing there like i've been doing up so now i'm going to add another div just like with the paragraph text and the horizontal row then now i'm going to add another, another div with paragraph text and the horizontal row like you're doing now let's come back and check inside our browser the progress that we've made there you can see this is where i am now so now i'm just going to come back and create another div with with this one is for topic four with, with the second class name four like you can see this one so now i'm just going to add paragraph text and and horizontal rule then let's have a div with class name more headlines topic four and some paragraph text in the horizontal rule now i'm just going to make sure that we could another div with class with news bars and then let's have h1 text then let's also have an image text with the wall then i'm going to add another class name for the image called image dash news dash and dash bars dash image now i'm going to add paragraph text the with class with with, with class name then i'm also going to another div with news bars and more headlines 
then let's say down the div inside sub div and also paragraph text there okay so now i'm going to add a horizontal row horizontal row so now you can come and check inside your browser they can see now I've reached that side this is the last one so you can see that there's some text that we still need to add there so we can now come inside and let's let's add a div with class name use bars then let's have paragraph text and the horizontal row then let's have a sub div with with the same class name news and bars dash more headlines topic except that you have just changed the second class name to two from two this one is now the second class name is now three there you can see so now i'm going to add a paragraph take inside and the horizontal row just like we've been doing now i'm going to add another class name same class name with paragraph text and the horizontal row that like that like what i've done there then let's have another div with class name bars in the paragraph text and horizontal row just like as we have been doing i'm also going to add another new div with class name featured sections bottom now i'm going to add okay before i go inside i add this one let's come and check the progress that you've made you can see that i've completed this one these three columns this one two three columns now we're on this below so if i come back you can see so now let's come inside and let's add a h1 text in the paragraph image with new flight same class name for the image then let's add a paragraph tag then let's have div with class name news dash bars more headlines then let's add a div with news bars more headlines to pick one then let's add another div paragraph and it was on to rule they they cannot see now i'm just going to add another class name and i'm going to add the paragraph text in the horizontal row now i'm going to add the class name same class name bars more headlines with topic three then also remember paragraph text in the horizontal row just like as we've been doing right at the top so now if i come back and i check you can see that the politics is not coming there okay so we are also going to add this science and check that is here and also this text div so this is what we are going to be doing inside so now I'm just going to add a news bars category, H1 tick and the find and then image and the paragraph tick with the same class names pars news pars paragraph. Then let's have a div with new headlines. Then let's add a div with new news and pars more headlines topic one. Then let's add a paragraph tick and the horizontal rule. now we are going to add a div with class name news bars more headlines topic two then let's have paragraph text and the horizontal rule now i'm going to add another div with class name news bars topic three and the paragraph text there in the horizontal rule now i'm going to add another div with the same class name then we are going to add also as expected the paragraph text and the horizontal rule then you are going to now i'm going to create a new div called news bars but you, now you can see from the progress that you've made i have now completed this science and check just like simplifying copying and pasting the same code you can see the structures are the same so we are now going to go for the check this check one that is there okay for so for this check that is this text div so i'm just going to come inside my browser then let's add some h1 text with with class name categories adding check one then let's add image and then out text then let's add news bars paragraph then let's save or is a div with class name news bars more just like we have we been doing a uh, paragraph and a horizontal rule and we can now see that for two for the second class name div the first one was one now we're going to go for the same class name but the second with a different second class name too so i'm just going to add paragraph text 
in the horizontal rule that is just like we are doing with the structure the same let's now let's save a div with class name new small eight lines three then let's have a paragraph tag in the horizontal rule just like you are saying as you are seeing if i come inside this progress you know see that we have got this check and this one with the last with the last text is instagram is testing i so i'm going to come back on this one now i'm going to say div class news bars more headlines topic four then i'm going to add a paragraph tag in the horizontal row so this is what is the most important part you can now see that i've completed this section so what we now need to do is we now need to go inside our css file and put on some more styling from where we left okay from where we left all right so this is where we are going to be doing styling so from the section categories so so now for this one i'm going to say section feature dash section desktop display flexi and i'm going to also going to say dot feature dash sections dash board auto display flexi so if i come back now inside the browser and we check a look you can see all oh, this is the beauty that we have just done we've displayed everything to flexi you can now see that it's no longer it's not displaying on like desktop view you can now see that so this is how we have done it they can now see just similar to our expectations so now we are going to be moving nextly to the photos you could see i'm going to put in a new section with class name photos gallery then i'm going to set a div with class name photos heading desktop then i'm going to put in a first h1 takes then let's save a div with class name headline lines now we can do another horizontal row with same styling with 70 percent text align right margin left margin left zero margin 0 0.2 rams height 0 0.3 rams background color light gray then border none then i'm just going to duplicate the same horizontal row just make sure that you copy this one with the same css properties so that i've got two horizontal rows now i'm going to create another div outside then for this div we're going to add class name photos top then i'm going to say div and that sub div with images y google dot jpeg and image photo then i'm going to have h1 class photo heading y then i'm going to set another div with class name image photo then i'm going to set a horizontal rule then i'm going to have a class with photo heading then i'm going to set secrets of one of the words that this is the text that is going to go underside the class the h1 takes then i'm going to set another div with class name photos in middle then i'm going to have another div then i'm going to set in with an image let's have an image with you baris then also with class name image photo so this is the image then let's go on to add an h1 tag with the same class name photo dash heading then let's add another div outside then i'm going to set the div outside i'm going to give this one with an image this plane and just the same class name photo dash image image photo then i'm going to set another h1 text with class name photo dash heading then i'm going to give another div also the class name class photo below then i'm going to give another div with with source images for slash with the survive.jpg with the same class name image photo so we are going to give another h1 text then let's have a div outside with with an image name astronaut reverse.jpg and out class name image photo then let's also add another h1 take with photo headings now if i come back inside this browser i check the, the you can see this is what we have this is what we have okay this is what we have got all these six images they have now been successfully done 
Now let's come back inside the browser. So now you can see that I've got all these three. So you can now see that I've got this section, photos, gallery section. And now you can see that we have got our image there. So now I need to make this as close to the similar direction. So we now need to go inside our style CSS to make sure that we have got this one side by side. So we are going to make use of display flexi properties. So now let's go inside our CSS file, main CSS file. Okay, this one, this section under photo gallery starts. That's where we are going to put in some styling. Okay, so now inside this CSS, I'm going to main CSS file. I'm going to set photos dash image photo galleries to margin one ram, then photos dash top to display flex, photos dash middle to display flex, then photos below to display flex. Then we're going to set the photos gallery heading to font weight 400, color gray, margin 0.1 grams, then photos heading top the foot dash top display flex okay now let me come inside my browser they can see the images just look just like as we would want so but i need i need to reduce the size of the images to make them fit well so let's come inside our browser and we're going to set image photo maximum width of 50 percent so if i reduce the image they can see they can see just lovely just as we would want it just like as we would have wanted it you can now see this is a perfect match so devs in the next video i'm going to be building this paid content in the future so that this will help us to complete this project so if you enjoyed this content make sure that you subscribe and like my videos thank you for watching